Church, stand up on your feet, ho. That is said. We need to humble ourselves, I need to humble ourselves, and pray. Mm -hmm. God wants a person, a soul, to be humble mm -hmm. continuously. Not what I'm going through. Oh my God. Yes. yes. Not, yes. Not, 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 not for their sickness or, yes. or all H E L L going on in my life uh -huh. and yeah. within my home. Yes. 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 The yes. 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 The enemy is doing what he was designed to do. Yes. Why isn't saints of God not doing what's required? Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Be humble. Pray. Yes. Seek his face. Mm -hmm. yes, Do God. his will. Yes. Yes. Let my will line up with God's will. Yes. When someone and myself get to be 62 or 3 years old, uh -huh. and I haven't begun to humble myself, trying to let my life and my ways line up with God's will for me, Yes. what he has for me is good, yes. not evil. That is in God's design for every saved person. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So why is it that it's so hard mm -hmm. for a man to humble himself and pray mm -hmm. yes. and seek his faith? What does that mean? All these things means that. That's right, amen. It is something God mm -hmm. wants me to do. Woo! It's yes. not for you to yes. do. Yes. These, these are things I believe... Um, Maybe somebody had to go to the education word. It's the action word. Pray. Humble myself. Mm -hmm. these, oh, oh. These, are things, these, these are things God wants me to do. Uh -huh. yes. It's almost like when you get home with your parents, I'm sitting down. They're sitting down. They'll call you. Now we both sitting down. <laughs> I got to get up mm -hmm. and go see what old man wants. Mm -hmm. And I'm mm -hmm. trying you know what? When we both sitting down, but you want my attention. Why you can't come where I'm at? Because he's the parent and I'm the child. Yes, yes, right yes, man? yes. Teach it now. The same applies to God. God, good, God wants good. us to do something. He has given us yes, the way to do it. Woo! Yes, he has Amen. given us the word. Yes. And we are blessed Amen. with his Holy Spirit Amen. to guide us and to teach us in all truths. Yes. But yet I find a problem with God's word. Mm -hmm. That's Frank talking. That's not God talking. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. Seek his face, pray, and humble myself. Right. Is God asking too much of any of us? Oh Once again, God. I'm saying to myself, no. he's not asking me to do anything that, that I know that I should be doing. Amen. Mm. Basically, when we become saints, Christians, give our life to the Lord, God gives us a measure of faith. Yes, 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 yes. 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 Somewhere I read, you know, for those of us with little faith, uh -huh. pray, Lord, increase my faith. Mm. That's not that's too much for God. Mm. What is my problem? Mm. It's always me and I. And mm. according to God's word from Genesis to Revelation, it's all about leading me to the kingdom. Mm. It's not about this church, that church, Come on now. The corner, this apostle, mm. this bishop, this deacon, this elder. It's all about giving God the glory. Yes, yes, yes. And first of all, yes. you know, the bishop was saying something, and I think um, I heard the pastor do it and pastor Robert. We are servants. I am servant unto the Lord, first yes. and foremost. Yes, yes. So I make a little joke saying I put that thing around my neck. Now, if I'm going to hell, why do I need to choke myself before I get there? <laughs> oh, my you know God, I mean? my God. By putting yeah, this thing yeah. around my neck. <laughs> my Lord, my Lord. All these different denominations yes, and sir. this and that. The ladies can't wear pants and, yeah. and all this craziness. And, you know, certain things are in the Bible for a reason. Yes, sir. It is to guide us and yes, to teach yes, us. Yes, 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 yes. And the reason I love my bishop so much, yeah, I talk about him. Then I repent, Lord, forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> He's outside the box, per se. Yes, He's yes. not doing what Lake County people of God allegedly want 
him to do. My God, he is my God. doing what God is doing. Right. And if he's not, that is on his plate. Mm. Not mine. I got enough on my plate. Yes. My Lord, yes. my Lord, my, my Lord. My plate is more than I know. Amen. So, so one thing I love about him, it's not about what Frank wants to hear. And I do get that itching ear to hear something that I don't need to hear. My God, my God. I need to hear God's word. No matter what I'm dealing with, who I'm dealing with, Woo, God, Lord. I Preach need it. to hear God's word from A yeah. to Z. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that way he's been teaching me, he's been guiding me. Uh -huh. Now, I'm a grown man, I'm a few years older than the bishop, mm -hmm. but it's not about age. Right. I wish I had yeah. been obedient yeah. and submitted to God's will and word when I was this age and even younger. Yeah. Yes. That's yes. why I tell the Strata kids when I see them, yes. uh, and the Elder Lucy kids, God is going to bless you. That's the first. Yeah promise with a command that right yes. in the Bible. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. Children obey. Mm -hmm. So that's your day may be long upon yes. the face mm -hmm. of the earth. Yeah. I know it looks like I don't want to be here. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Kids have to pray. Yes. Mm -hmm. They have to be humble yes. towards their parents. Yes. Yes. And yes. they have yes. to seek their mother and father's Oh my God. Amen. Oh my God. So Woo! if they don't see the middle of the other parents, Woo! and it's really time out for grandparents. Mama and dad. Mm. Grandpa getting tired. Oh. Yeah. 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 But, but we set the tone as grandparents. We had to learn how to do some things we didn't know how to do when we was parents. That's right. Amen. But one thing, my grandparents couldn't read. Mm. They was led by the Holy Spirit. Yes. Thank God for the Holy Spirit. Now parents, we can read mm -hmm. today. But what am I teaching my kids? My, Lord, my kids see me being humble. But my kids see me praying mm. and seeking God's face mm. on my knees crying out to God. Mm. Even when things are going well. Yes. Take inventory. Everybody's doing fine. No bad phone calls. No bad reports. I thank you, Jesus. Thank you. That is my job. Thank because you, as being parents, we have to lead our children. Say that. Yes. When I look at the world in Chicago and abroad, kids are dying left and right. Yes. Yes. Every 30 seconds, some kids getting shot. Mm. Yes, sir. I barely watch the news. I watch the weather, and that's about it. Because I know what the news is going to say, basically. So let's, let's get back where I get to, you know. You you do You hit me. You hit me. Our children need us. I don't care what I did in 1902. That's under the blood. You know what I'm saying? The first thing, the first thing my children want to come to me and say, well, Dad, you did. I did it, but it wasn't right. Come on. Now he's looking at me with a magnifying glass trying to see yeah. where I'm coming from. Yeah. Amen? And I'm just praying, Lord, keep me from myself. Yeah. I never knew that would be such a hard job. Mm. For me, it ain't, ain't, ain't nothing too hard for God. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Amen? And I just thank God for the leadership in this house. We bump heads. Mm. It's time out for leadership. We bump heads. Yes. Amen. Amen. One, one body. One body. One body. Amen. So I got problems with Pastor Strata, Pastor Stewart. We need to sit down and ask grown yes, right. older men and work this out according to the word. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so sick of this. I'm talking about me. Mm. Because that is my problem. Yeah. Mm. Me and Pastor Bo, we bump heads like them rounds on that commission. <laughs> that, that thing that goes on the back hind legs, that is just ridiculous. For me to act like that. I'm not talking about Pastor Bo Bridges. Yes, right. I'm talking about me. Mm. We're in this together. Mm. Lord, 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 get that out of me. Mm. Lord, mm. Lord, get down to the yeah. 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 Because when I look at God's people yeah. and I'm in the midst, yes. I'm hurting, yes. I'm sad, yes. I'm lonely, yes. I got this problem, I got this health problem. Yes. Lord, I need to come to church to get built up yes. by my brothers yes. and sisters. Yes. Yes. And we can't, I can't do it. Arguing and fussing like I'm 16 years old. That's right. Amen. Yeah. So I just I just want to each and every one because it's time out for the body of Christ to be acting like we are still in the um. It's time for Frank to stop mm, acting like he's still in the world. Because I have to. Yes. Because when we go to the cemetery or terminal news, somebody has left due to Lord, and I hear something like. Uh, to be out on the body is present and present the Lord. Now let me slow it down and be real careful before I get rock strong with that man. If I have lived a sinful life for 95 years, and some people tell you all that, <laughs> pick up a brick and throw it at them. Amen? Because the only way to God is through Christ. 
Mm. And if I don't die in Christ, mm. I'm going to be a sad cookie on that particular day. Uh, I hear people say, I've heard someone say, I've been in church since 1902. Okay, that's good. That's good. <laughs> but I pray when you leave here in 4005 that you leave here in Christ. Mm. <laughs> so stop telling me way back down the road what yes, you did. Yes, uh -huh, uh -huh. Because I'm praying that I can, the Father can say to me, the Son can say, well done. Well, you got one in that good and faithful service. Yes, yes, That's what it's all about. Yes, yes, yes. So, so we have to humble ourselves. We have to pray and seek His face. Now, all those action words are saying what to us? Turn from my wicked way. What is my wicked way? Look. Being hard here, just giving it. Look. Mm. Getting it too, Pastor Lord. You. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, coming to the house of God each and every time with attitude. Mm. I just slammed my door. Now, if I slam it too hard, I got to buy a new lock. I just should have closed it just the right way, turn the lock with the key in my pocket, get the car. Turn from my wicked ways. Mm. You know, you know, there's a point in a man's life, I heard Pastor Johnny say uh, in, Bel in uh, Bellwood, he's sitting up at the bar, and he was trying to have a cocktail by himself, and the Holy Ghost began to convict him. Look. And he went home and told his wife, he said, you know what, honey? There's got to be more to life than just yes. doing this. Yes. There has to be more to life, and there is more to life for saints of God to live happy together. Mm -hmm. Yes, there's going to be misunderstanding. Amen. We, you know, we can't be on everything mm -hmm. because we're human beings first. Yes. But we are, we are children of the most high God. Yes. That tells me that we should come together right. in, love in love and discuss these things. So That's if you right. see me stumble, don't get them kicking on me. But those, what the Bible say, those who are somewhat spiritual, mm. yep, run out now Come on. and restore him with what? Oh, yeah, restore with love. Love. Yeah. Don't be evil and wicked, Frank. Come on. I'm glad you're down. I knew you were going to fall. I knew you were going to stumble. You know, I said, well, yes, I did. But somebody said, just get up. Get up. Brush your knees off. Lord, restore me. You know, just restore me. Yes, and that's what it's all about. It's not about we all fall short. Yes. So I, I, I don't know why that I have to uh, explain myself. I to the bishop because he's the shepherd. He's the shepherd house. Right. I don't mind doing that. That's his job. And I respect, yes, bishop, I messed up. I did this. He put you well, son. Now you know you got consequences. It's like your mother and father in the natural sense. Amen? Amen. Turn, we just turn from, from, our, from our wicked ways. You preaching now. Then, then will. Then. You say, then. Mm -hmm. Then. Then. I'll hear from heaven uh -huh. and will forgive their sins. Mm -hmm. Let me read the Amplified. If my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, pray, seek, crave, and require of necessity my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven, forgive their sins and heal their land. Basically saying the same thing. Now to God, his, uh, my heart is broken, my spirit is broke. Mm. I'm trying to think of that psalm, uh, that, 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 that scripture in um, where, where it says, no. Isaiah, <laughs> where, where it says, you know, that, you know, with a, with a, a contrite spirit, God wants me to break all the way down. Yeah. Yeah. Not what I'm going through. Not, not when I need something from God, mm -hmm. because I need him just to let me wake up in the morning. Yeah, I, I'm getting shots in the eyes, shots in the knees, and the doctor said, well, you know, you have to do this the rest of your life. I said, that's what you're saying. Mm. That's what you're saying. Yeah. You said 12 years ago that I'm not supposed to be living today, yeah, and yet yeah. here I stay. Mm. Yeah. My God, my God. You know, I wouldn't try to be no deep, uh, 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 the guy in Texas, whoever, you know, uh, I'm laying house because, you know what? I messed up. And this is all in my mind. I got two good ones. I, mean, I got two you would believe. And I'm saying in my mind, Lord, just forgive me. I'm going to try to serve you. Yeah. Careful how you talk to God. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. You know, I didn't say I was. I said I want to try. Yes. With your help. Yes. Take yes. all those things that I used to do from you. Mm -hmm. And believe me to this day, you can turn on the TV, yes. uh, you can walk down the street, and what did the enemy do? He got, we're dealing with things not of the circuit. 
Amen. Uh, things that's in high places and mm -hmm. principalities. Mm -hmm. and these things I activate. I tell my wife, stop bringing that crap up in here with all those demonic spirits. On my, God, my God, my God, my God, my God. And uh, what are you talking about? Read God's word. Read. Mm -hmm. This ain't what I see. I don't know how I got that power. <laughs> that's all right, that's all right. Because because wicked and wickedness mm. is going on today. Turn from that wicked way. You'd be surprised how the enemy, the adversary, can attack the saints of God with a little hug or a, a, a sweet potato pie. I mean, the enemy is busy. We have to be wise in these areas. Because being wicked, you appear to be nice, but see that the other area, you you're wicked. There. Get there. And that's why God said, turn. Turn me. Turn around. When you repent, what, what do we do? We turn around. We turn from that sin. We give our life to the Lord. Same thing as being wicked. I turn from that. I no longer desire that. But if I say that only to myself, God, with your help, I can do this. Amen? Amen. 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 Okay. Um, I'm going to make sure I get these little notes in here. God just wants us to, to stop in this setting most um, Solomon is praying for God to heal and the Lord said if my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their little ways then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal the land what about today does that apply to us today? Amen. In the yes. name of Jesus. Yes, it does. The, it does. the word yes. is going crazy. Look. But according to God's Go word, mm. if the saints of God, you don't have to be an apostle or bishop or a pope. Come on now. If the saints of God, Woo. Church, I didn't say church folks, uh -huh. we're all getting on one accord. Yes, preach. Yes. Ask God. Yes. To now. forgive us, uh -huh. seek yeah. His face, uh -huh. turn from our wicked ways, and yeah. uh -huh. God will put a stop to this. Whoa! I'm serious about that. But when I can't get along with this Protestant and this Baptist and this, this, this Pentecostal, this Church of God, right. Right. Mm -hmm. so yeah. there's something wrong with the picture. Yeah. And the enemy, enemy does not want unity mm -hmm. in the body of Christ. Oh, no. He is not stupid. I, I tell people, do you think the devil is ignorant? <laughs> do you think he's going around here with, with the horns and the tail and stuff? Uh -huh. He's sitting up there by the most high. Uh -huh. I said, by the most high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had one job. Uh -huh. He didn't want to do that right. Whoa. Amen? No, no. And what happened? Oh, he became the Lord of this world. Look out. Yes, sir. <laughs> mm. I'm telling you. Saints, we have to do what is required of us, yeah. and and just and just coming to church, putting this suit on, no. uh, it's not going to get it. Mm. Uh, right. When I was coming up in Chicago, I saw the leaders going through the neighborhood, could do the civil rights movement, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. If those people would come back here mm. and see where we has come as a group of people, they put everybody in the grave with them. Mm. Well, my God. My God. I'm Lord. just telling you it. because it's, it's free. Safe. It's yeah. safe. I mean, you go to Chicago, you got you got five or six churches on that side of the street and one block. Yes. And you cross the street, you got four or five yes, on that sir. side. Okay, none and biggest Chicago. Okay, nobody come together and pray. Mm. For the city of Chicago. For the children. You have to go way down the floor to pray for that child. I thank God that's okay. But how many kids I dying in okay. Chicago? Come on now, preach. Now Chicago mm. is easy not here. Texas and eased up here. Uh -huh. I'm not knocking all that. Because that's what enemy does every 20, 30 years. Yes. Oh my God. To the poor people, the blacks and the Hispanic. They should make a shift. Mm. You know? So now I'm saying like, still, Lake County. Is we praying? Mm. Jesus. North Chicago, we praying. Mm. Is Lake Boys is we praying? Oh no. no. my God, my God, is my God. We're not no. doing it. Oh. We're not yeah. doing it. Oh. It's, it's yeah. sad. It's, it's really sad. And our children are the future. Preachers, leaders, and teachers of God's word. And the enemy is trying to put a stop to yes, that. Yes, he is. He's trying to kill our children. Yes, yes, yes. That's what yes. he's doing. He's and, for, and for some reason, the devil's alive. He's mm. his father alive. Yes. And yes. the enemy yes. knows that. Yes. This Bible sometimes does not get picked up mm. until Sunday, from Sunday, Easter to Easter. Whoa. Uh -oh. And picking it up, reading it for 46 years. Yeah. Ain't gonna do you no good. No. You ain't got no revelation. You ain't got no understanding of what God's word is telling you to do. Mm. How to do it, when to do it, and who to do it with. Oh my 
God. Amen. 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 Hey, this is a sad day. Mm. Yes, it is. Listen, I don't care what nobody says. Yes, and I'm the boss it. And I'm guilty. I'm not trying to cast stone with nobody. Mm. Oh, my back hurt. My oh, knee cap hurt. I, I can make all kinds of excuses. But if them white folks say now you got to be at 730, I'm there at 650. Mm. Amen. Mm. I mean, because we got to pay the bills, we got to buy the groceries. But what about God's house? What, what about the things that require of us? And you want to put a title around your neck. Mm. And then you don't want to come out and clean the floor. I'm, oh, my God. I'm guilty. Mm. I'm, I'm guilty of all that. Oh, my Lord. I've been ruined about the church. But why should I let It's like being married before, prior. And that didn't work out good. I was hurt and all that stuff. Then I bring all that pain and suffering yeah. into this place. Oh, my that God. That ain't fair to the present way. It ain't fair to me. Come on. My God. My so God. why is it that I can't come being wounded from? From another church, That's right. come to a new house of God. Oh my God! Get new healing. Oh my get God! Restored, oh. like I have been doing, and go forward. Oh. Stop making all these excuses, oh. amen. Oh. I just had to put that in there. I had to put that in there. Oh. Oh. Yes. there because I tell the bishop, if I get mad and you don't do like I want you to do, I get the keys back to you. I can go home. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to accept it. I'm not going to accept it. Yes. Now that's a man of God. Right. He's not going to accept it because he knows that I fall short mm. of the glory of God. Yes, sir. And I'm going to make mistakes. I thank God he's not the type of leader that, you know what, you out the door. Mm. Mm. You don't sound like Paul. Amen. You don't sound like Peter. Uh -huh. And we need to understand that. If your name is Frank, John, Bobby, Esther, whatever, that's who God made you. Yes, yes. yes. Be who you are in the body of Christ. And do season. God will elevate you to where he needs to be, where he wants you to be. This is not about elevation, but that God, the universe, is divinely structured. Mm. Everything in this world, God made it and put it where he wanted it to be. Mm. It's like being at home. In your room, your shirt's on the left, the pants on the right. You go on the other side, the white flowers, they her dress is there. That's order. Mm -hmm. So why when it comes to God's house, there cannot be order? Mm. I don't get that. I ain't gonna do so and so because he, you know, he ain't never got no, but God, God got him in position. And I thank God it ain't me because I've been here by myself, just me and God. See? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But he put this man in position to be the under shepherd of Love and Arms Office Ministry. And if we don't like that, we don't want to submit to that, then we should hit that door. That's it. I got his back. That's right. You know, I don't have a problem, you know. I don't mind doing certain things and going away for a long time. I'm already old. <laughs> but uh, I just I have to say that because it's time for me to get along and be about God's business along with the body of Christ. Yes, sir. Whether you like me or not, and you say that you're a Christian, you love God, you stay, you sanctify. Well, well, if, in order for you to get to heaven, you don't have to love me. Come on, it's just simple. Uh, so that's stop all the Frank stop all the screwiness. And allow the enemy to come in like a flood and be a destruction in my life. If my people. If mm, my people. But also, there's going to come a time God's going to get tired of yep. me yes. not doing the things that's required of me. And the question I, you know, I have people, you know, I'm going to do this and that. Well, I don't know. I always say luxury is something I don't have. Time is a luxury I, I, I don't have to say, well, I'll get it right tomorrow. Well, Somebody need to get up this morning. Yes, yes. Now, I'm not going to get all the cliches that we've been saying down through the years. But somebody to get up. Somebody couldn't get up. Somebody wanted to get up. Mm -hmm. Somebody wanted hard to go and ever be able to get up. Mm -hmm. I've been there. It's a hard thing laying in bed, you don't know, for 45 or 60 days, not knowing that my toes going to move. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yes. yes. But it was in his time so, so he could deal with me. All right, people, God, uh, I pray that. You were blessed this morning. Mm -hmm. We were, yes. Uh, yeah. 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 Thank you. Yeah. 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 You know what I love? Yeah. I love the different styles yeah. of all the ministers. Elder Frank, you blessed us this morning. Yeah. Come on, give God some praise. Yeah. You blessed us this morning. Because he was breaking down sentences and words and action words and oh God! Woo. Thank you. Hey man, hey man, man, you really.
really blessed us. Yes, yes, Elder Frank, I've heard you God speak looking, before, but today, brother, you really, really Thank came you. out the box. Yeah. You didn't even look at your notes much. At this time, I want to dismiss the children. First Lady is going to go out and serve all of you breakfast. Amen. That young man looks sharp. Come here, young man. I want him. Come on up here. You, come on up here, man. I keep forgetting his name. But look how, look how nice this young man. Look at him. Amen. Put those white shoes on. Come on, give God some praise for the young man. We're expecting good things from him from school this year, too. Amen. 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 You're doing a good job with him, Dad. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep it up. Give God some praise. Y'all ready? Y'all better saddle up. Because Elder Rob has just warmed us up. He took it up another degree. Now, I, 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 I've been talking with Pastor Kevin all week, so I, I got a little bit of preview of the sermon. Yeah. <laughs> Elder Rogers was all up in there. Yes, See, I, I, I love being a pastor and a bishop because they all call you. You know what I'm talking about, Pastor? Before they speak, they call you. How does this sound? And they got one talking to you, this is, the other one. And I just be taking notes because I get two or three sermons out of what they're telling me. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all better be ready, but I'm telling you because Elder Rodden was all up in the pastor, pastor Strata's sermon. But that's just how God is molding me. And y'all think Pastor Baskins is sitting over there. He ain't taking no notes, but I'm, I know the brother. He's one of those mind pastors. Yes, he going to wrap all of this up tomorrow. Y'all y'all, 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 y'all hear what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all, y'all better say Y'all better bring your tent tomorrow morning. We need to pack this house. Tomorrow morning, the man of God didn't travel all the way, left his restaurant and his business to come all up in here just to preach to a little bit of us. Yeah, amen. amen. You tell Judy she don't come to church tomorrow. I'm coming to get her. I tell you, you go ahead. That's right, Pastor Bowden. You, you know, I ain't gonna leave Pastor Bowden alone. Pastor Bowden bring a whole bunch of folk up in here. Oh, you got the, you got the uh, the group tomorrow, right? You got all those old geezers. I wonder if we can get them all up in here. We better have some Geritol and some oxygen tanks. And some... <laughs> Watch your mouth. <laughs> no, that's just for Pastor Bowden. <laughs> now, Pastor Bowden is, man, I'll tell you what, he's a young man at heart. He worked in the garden the other day, and he called me up and said, I got stuck in the rain. I said, you worked in the rain? You worked in your garden in the rain? No, 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 I didn't mean I was in the garden in the rain. I was stuck in my car in the rain. <laughs> Come on up here, Pastor Strata. Everyone rest on your feet. As we bring this great man of God up, he can sing, DJ, run the radio station, he teaches, he preaches, and he fills in for the bishop when there's places I don't want to go. Amen. Elder Peel covered me the other night. He said, the young man come to me and said, I need someone to speak on education. And I, the first person that popped in my mind was Elder Peel. I said, I got somebody for you. I'll have a call you. And I hear she went down there to the Seventh Day Adventist Church and made those folks want to worship on Sunday. You know, <laughs> she left out of there. They said they got something on there on Sunday. We might have to go over there. <laughs> Lay them out. No one else can talk about education like Elder Peel. Amen. Yeah, amen. And in the month of October, we are going to be celebrating teachers. And I'm going to ask Elder Peel to invite. Teachers, we want to honor them, and, and I want you to get their name, and we're going to, we're going to do stuff for them. Amen? Amen? And we want to have a day to celebrate and honor our educators. Amen? Yeah. I have to believe Lady T working in the educational system too, right? Yeah. Oh, you didn't let that one on. You forgot about it. You're a little crazy kid. <laughs> now, what, all right. I, I don't know why about you were out of school. Now, I just assume. There you go. I just had to ask her husband. But I'm not going to say anything else because I'm going to ask Lady T to come up here and introduce her boo. Amen? Amen, First Lady Amen. Tanika Strong. Let's give God some praise.
give God some praise this morning. Yeah. 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 My husband is going to get up here and tell you, y'all can do better than that. Yeah. Come on now, let's give God some praise. Let's give yeah. God some praise. Yeah. We need to be thankful because even though there's just a small amount of us, God Amen. is still yet That's in the right. midst of oh, us. Yeah. Amen. And I would just like to take this time and this opportunity to bring up my husband. Yes. You all know him. And if you don't know him, by the time you get finished, you're going to be like, that's my child. You're going to adopt him into your family. You will know. Pastor Kevin T. Strader. Come on, husband. Bring us a ring of Heavenly Father, our Father, and our God. Yes, yes. We come to you first and foremost, O oh God, to say thank you. Thank you. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for each and every individual that is here with us on this day. Father God, we just ask in the name of Jesus that you continue to guide us down the pathway of salvation and righteousness. Give us the strength we need to overcome. Give us love. Give us peace. Give us joy, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of you and your word. Father God, we thank you for the great leadership that you have installed in this house. We thank you, Father God, and we ask in the name of Jesus that you continue to bless us individually and collectively. Forgive us for all of our sins, O oh God. Allow us to seek your presence in the name of Jesus, and we will be sure to give you all the honor, the glory, and the praise. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. And let the saints of God say amen. 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 And amen. 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 You've been standing up long enough. You may be seated. I actually brought some notes today. Uh oh. But, 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 let me tell you something. <laughs> Between last night and this morning, I might as well throw them away. Oh, my God. So, yeah. you, I'm on my own right now. It's just me and you, God. Okay. I hope you got my back. I loved you, Elder Rogers. But you was all up in it. I love Pastor Joshua. He jacked me up too. All right. So it's just between me and God this morning. Amen, amen. And I'm asking God to just, you know what, just simply use me as a communication device. Yes, yes, yes. You know, use me as a vessel. Uh -huh. Because, you know what, if it was left up to me, you'd hear the same stuff you've heard between last night and this morning. Yes, my God. And my I God. can't go out like that. I have to depend on my Heavenly Father today. Yes, 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 yes. First and foremost, I, I, I want to say give an honor to God who is, who is truly the head of my life. God yes. the Father of the Son and the Holy Ghost. Yes. I want to honor my pastor, Bishop Hargett, God bless you. First Lady, wherever she may be. I want to honor my beautiful wife. Yes. Let me change that. My lovely, beautiful, and talented wife. Yes. Yes. I want to honor the clergy here on today, family members and friends. I just thank God that he is simply allowing us an opportunity to come together yes. once again. Yes. You know, when I think about this uh, this men thing, yes. before I even get started, this 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 concept of men, men. <laughs> women have overcome the importance of a man in church. My God, my God, my God. Everywhere I look, I see women outnumbering men. Yeah. In the church. My God, my God, my God. And we want to get an attitude. Mm. A woman ain't got no business preaching. Uh -huh. oh. It's okay for her to carry the word. Whoa. It's okay for her to bear the word. Whoa. But we want to complain. Mm. If we was doing what we were supposed to do, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh, they'll follow uh -oh. suit. Oh. We got to teach, we got to preach, we got to do what God has yeah. instructed us. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now, I am going to basically stay on track this morning to our theme of seeking God first. Yes, sir. And if any of you know anything about what Bishop Hargett has established within this congregation since January 1st, mm. you know that we have come from 2 Chronicles chapter 7, mm -hmm. verse 14. Mm. Amen. 
I'm going to go ahead and, 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 and let you go ahead and, and, and receive that today. Yes. God has something for you. Mm. And he's simply using me as a communication. Device. Praise God. My God, Praise my God. God. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Hallelujah. Lord, just move me out of the way right now. Mm. Yes, God. Crucify move me. Yes. Crucify, crucify self. Crucify self yes. And take over. Yeah. As you all know, 2 Chronicles 7 and 14, we, we, we all know what it reads. You all can recite it. Mm. Can, little Mikey can recite it. My God, my God. Amen. So uh, if my people uh -huh. who are called by my name yes, yes, should humble yes. themselves yes. and pray yes. and seek my face, yes. turn yes. from their wicked ways, yes. then will I hear from heaven, yes. forgive their yes. sin, yes. and heal their yes. land. Amen. You know, before I started Amen. learning and, and, and allowing myself to be teachable, Mm, mm, mm. Because for a long time I wasn't teaching. My God. Oh, my Lord. Nobody Woo! could teach me nothing. Woo! I knew everything. Yo, say it. After last night, uh -huh. I found out that in order to truly, truly receive the Spirit of God, uh -huh. I have to agree to be just a vessel. Mm. I have to agree to be a part of the body. Woo. I have to agree to be teachable. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Woo. Yes, yes. oh, preach that thing now. Oh. Now, 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 now. Thank you, it says that the theme here is seek, yes. seeking God first. Yes. Mm. Yes. In, 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 in order for us to seek God first, we have to first understand what we're looking for. Yes, mm, yes, 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 yes. Mm. yes. Mm. Woo! We have to first understand what it is that we're looking for. Uh -huh. yes, yes. Now, now, don't come. Now, I heard Pastor Josh say it last night. I heard him say it last night. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Some of us are just going through the process. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Some of us are, are, are just literally trying to allow ourselves to be recognized in the church mm. and yeah. consider ourselves church folk. Mm. Now, now, now others uh -huh. are truly accepting their calling. My yeah. God. Others are truly serving God. Mm -hmm. Others are truly receiving salvation. Mm -hmm. Others are truly accepting what it is that God has given them as a responsibility. Yes, 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 yes. yes. I'm getting there. Once we have taken time out to first understand what it is we're looking for, yes. we have to understand the word seek. Mm. Come on yes. All right. See, I can say I'm looking for this or I'm looking for that, yes. but, but let's back up just a little bit and focus on the word seek. Seek. Mm -hmm. Seek. Okay. Mm. If my people who are called by my name, come on, y'all know what I'm talking about. Yes, yes, yes. Let's look at the word seek. Uh-huh, uh-huh. First of all, I haven't been to class too much, but seek is a verb. Mm, yes, 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 yes. Am I right or wrong? Come on, That's right. Seek is a verb. Now, 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 what's a verb? A verb? Now, now you know, I got to know on that one. I said, I ain't going to go to class this morning without having that one written down. Yeah, yeah. Now, 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 seek is a verb. Now, it indicates, now correct me if I'm wrong, it indicates the occurrence or performance of an action. Look, all right, all right, all right now, all right now. Right? That's it. That's it? Yeah. I had to get that one confirmed. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, seek yes. to restore to, yes. to go to. Yes. Seek is to go in search of. Oh my yeah. God, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Seek to try to discover. Oh my God, oh my God. Seek. Oh. Seek. 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 He's yeah. We're trying to seek God. Uh -huh. See, that means initially we didn't know what we was looking for. Woo! Come on now. Mm -hmm. That means initially we have to make and come to terms with ourselves that we yeah. first even understand what we're looking for. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. like this one, to make an attempt, mm. yes. to try, mm. to seek, mm. to 
should be sought. God says you must seek my face. He says be sought. Oh my God. Now, before we go into the scripture that God has given me this morning, I want you to have one focus. What kind of man has God called you to be? Mm. That's good. Like a coach said. Okay. Well, no show, boy, no show. What kind of man that God has called you to be? See, I heard Elder Rogers talk about we spend too much time worrying about what other folks do. That's right, that's right, that's right. We spend too much time looking outward instead of looking at See, he understood that this morning. Yes, yes. He came up here and kept it real with him. Mm. Because now he understands what kind of man that God has called him to be. Not you, not you, not you. But he understands that. What kind of man has God called you to be? If you would, I, 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 I want to go to the book of Ephesians, just briefly. The, 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 the book of Ephesians, chapter 4. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. Because, see, I too am starting to understand what kind of man God has called me to be. See, it says in God's word to study to show thyself approved. Right. Mm -hmm. The book of Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 1. It reads, Therefore, the prisoner of the Lord beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vacation wherewith ye are called. <laughs> with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Oh, oh God, thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, help me this morning. Endeavoring to keep the unity. And I've heard that word within the last 24 hours at least 50 times. Unity. He talked about it last night. He mentioned it again this morning, and here it is again. That word means something. Unity. Oh, he talked about the fivefold ministry being unified. Unity. Okay, 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 okay. I'm not there yet. I'm not there. In that word, to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Oh my God. There is one body. And one spirit. Even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. Thank you, Lord Jesus. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. One God and Father of all. Y'all come on, follow me, follow me. Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. If my people. Oh my God. Let me double check this again, make sure I ain't. I know somebody gonna go back and check me on this. One God and Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. My people, you all. That makes sense to me. That makes sense to me. You see, a lot of people are looking for, well, where do I fit in? It says in his word. It ain't got nothing to do with me. It says, you all. In you all. I want you to jump up a little bit to verse 10. Let's jump up a little bit to verse 10. And it says in verse 10 of that same book, He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might fill 
all things. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers. But here's the good part. Here's the good part. For the perfecting of the saints. For the work of the ministry. For the edifying of the body of Christ. My people, you all, for the perfecting of the ministry. I do. 
But that's not why he gave us that. He gave it to us. It's in scripture. He gave it to us because we need to focus on the perfecting of the saints for the work of the ministry for the edifying of the body of Christ. Come on, now, 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 I heard that word last night that we need to get our focus off of self and start focusing on kingdom. Oh, yeah. That's it. Oh, yes. Yeah. And we need to start focusing on kingdom. Yes. Yes. Now, how is it that I can focus on little old me and keep my eye on the prize? Hey. How is that? If I keep my eye on the prize, he'll take care of little old me. It's starting to make sense to me. It's starting to make sense to me. Now, 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 I don't want to get off track. And I, I, I really appreciate the fact that God says if if the knock, if we knock, the door shall be open. If we uh, seek, we shall find. And if we ask, it shall be given. See, I'm starting to appreciate that right now. Because before I was too busy focusing on me, mm -hmm. self. Mm -hmm. What kind of man has God called you to be? We all know that in scripture it says that in, 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 in John 10.10 10, that the thief cometh to do nothing less but to steal, kill, and destroy. That's what it says. It also goes on to say, but I have come so that you might have life and have life more abundantly. Abundantly. Help me, Lord. What do you mean abundantly? Does that mean I get whatever I want? Does that mean I get the nice car and the big home and the nice wife and the big bank account? What does it mean to live life and to live life more abundantly? I did my research, investigation, and I came up with a simple solution. It's called the fruits of the Spirit. When I thought about the abundant living, I thought about the fruits of the Spirit. Abundant living, fruits of the Spirit, long-suffering is a part of that. Now, we all want to get upset with God when we have to go through some stuff. We want to blame God for the problem. All right. We want to blame God for setbacks. Yes. We want to blame God for downfalls. We want to blame God for our help. We want to blame God for everything. Let me share with you what God just shared with me. Go ahead. Long suffering, pain, trials and tribulations is a part of the process. Yes. He's, he's, he's in the midst of a transformation period. Okay? And in order for you to truly transform, you got to be willing to go through some stuff. You just can't accept God and expect him to just lay it in your lap. You got to go through some stuff. That means what he is doing is transforming you. He is getting you ready for what he wants you to be. You got to go through some stuff. If you ain't willing to be transformed and go through some stuff, you ain't doing nothing but another person sitting in the church, sitting in the pews. Just You are just a part of what truly is going on. Mm. Now in Romans 12 and 2. Now we didn't jump from 2 Chronicles all the way up to Romans 12 and 2. Now we just left John 10.10. 10. And, and, and we know what the thief comes to do. Now, now, when I was a thief, I'm going to make sure I get what I came for. I'm busting in doors. I'm looking for you. If you sleep, I got you. So it says that the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. I'm a witness. I may not have physically killed you. But if I can ease my way in Come on now. and steal from you, Look at Come on now. I have just jumped up to destroying you. Come on now. Because I've tried to get away with something that I shouldn't have been doing in the first Hallelujah. place. Yeah. I heard that last night. Mm. Pastor Josh said somebody stole from me yeah. and made me mad. Come on now. I heard Bishop this morning say 
Pastor Kevin, he experienced the loss of a son. Somebody took something from me. That made me mad. I was ready to get revenge. But I thank God. There's a transformation period taking place. I thank God. I ain't perfect. And if anybody can stand behind the pulpit and tell you that they are, they are on their way to hell. Come on, right. That's it. Right out line. Now, it says in Romans 12, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. We want to find out how we can get from here, from seeking his face all the way over here to the renewing of your mind. That's where we are today. We want to find out how we can get there. Well, let me help you out just a little bit. God has a plan. God has elements in place. God has something in store for each and every one of us. As a matter of fact, each and every one of us that stands before us right now, God has given us a prophetic gift. Leave my gift alone. Stay in your land because I got my own things in mind. I got something in store for me because God has given it to me, not man. Now I heard Elder Rogers this morning. He said, I got some things that I need to address. He said, I got some things that God is dealing with me about. Yes. Me. Yes. Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Let's find out some of the essential parts of seeking God. Let's find out what it takes so you can determine what kind of man God has called you to be. Let's find out some of the essentials in that. First of all, we have to have faith. Yes, yes, yes. We have to have faith. That's an essential part of the process. I told you, the bad to the good, the ugly, the downfalls, the setbacks, the strongholds, they are part of the process. Yes, 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 yes. So faith. We came up with the conclusion that faith means for all I trust him. Yeah, 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 go ahead. She's a teacher. She's going she to make sure that this right. She oh, said, no. right. <laughs> For all, I trust him. Yes, sir. Now, it, it, it also says in Hebrews 11 and 6 that without faith, it is impossible to please him. So you tell me if faith is a part, an essential part of the process. Mm. Yeah. If you don't have it, you've already failed. Because you first of all have to believe that he is who he says he is. And then you have to believe that he will do the things that he says he's going to do. So for all, I trust him. John uh, 14 and 15 says, keep my commandments. 99.9% of Christian folk tend to find a reason not to keep at least one of those commandments. Loopholes. We always want to justify why we do what we do. As a matter of fact, we want to conform the Bible into the way we live instead of living according to the word of God. Preach that thing now. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I know I've been there. Yes, sir. And it says in the word of God that he will use the foolish things of this world to conform the wise. Yeah. I'll be the first one. Have you been a fool? Absolutely. Whoa. Have you been a fool? Now, if you're not raising your hand, I'm sorry. There's a one-way ticket waiting on you. But I've been a fool. Yes. And he has used the foolish things of this world to conform the wise. Yes. So you come in here high and mighty if you want to. You can come in here and say, I got 3,000 members. Huh? But what is God doing for you? Oh. Is God working a miracle in your life? Yes. Have you received the man that God has intended for you to be? Are you doing 
ain't the will of God? Or are you just going through the process? Are you just going through the motions? Are you trying to fool me? I'm convinced, but you ain't doing me no good. I can't save you. I can't do a thing for you. I can't take you into heaven. Oh my God. I can't do a thing for you. Anybody heard of one way ticket? How many know about a one way ticket? I don't want one. But I know if I keep living the way I am, I'm going. If I keep doing the things that I've been doing, I got one. With my name on it. And it's got the whole name. Kevin Thomas Strawler Sr. You on your way. Keep living like you're living. Or you're going to have to accept the calling of trying to figure out the kind of man that I have called you to be. We talked about the word faith. A lot of us are struggling with the word faith. I've struggled with the word faith for many years. I didn't even understand it. Because if the word faith in any sentence is followed by the word but, you have just thrown your faith right out the window. My God, my God, my God. If you use the word faith in any sentence and it's followed by the word but, you ain't got no faith. You have just thrown it out the window. And without it, it is impossible to please God. It says faith without what is dead. If you got the faith, you got to work that thing. You got to walk in surprise. You got to walk receiving it, knowing you got the anointing on you. Yes, that's it. We have to look at reality as Christian folk. We got the fivefold ministry. I always listen to what my bishop tells me. If he calls. Bishop, if I can be there, I'm going to be there. Amen. Sometimes Amen. we got to hold his arms up. Yeah. It's a good week. Oh. We got to hold his arms up. Because we want somebody to hold ours up when we fall into those shoes. Right. We got to hold his arms up. Yes. Faith without works is dead. We understand that. We got to follow the commandments. We got to check our attitudes. We got to check our attitudes at the door. We got to lead them attitudes where they belong. How you gonna come in here and help save somebody's life if you ain't trying to save your own? If you walk in the church and you got an attitude, you're gonna get defeated because you brought the enemy in with you. Faith. If I'm not mistaken, Matthew 21, 21 says faith without doubt. What does the word but mean? But is a conjunction. conjunction. All right, man. What does the word but mean? It's a conjunction. What does it mean? It means except. Mm -hmm. Except. Yes. That means there's a question mark. It's a question mark. That means there's doubt. That means you are really unsure. You, you, you said it yourself. But, but, now how can you have faith without doubt and have but follow it? But how many times have you heard it? Come on now. Oh, I believe God. I believe you will, but the fact of the matter is, I ain't got the money in the bank. The fact of the matter is, my husband or my wife did leave me. Yeah. If he separated you, that means he's got something better in store for you. Come on now. Hallelujah. The only time a division is relevant is when God is moving something out of your way. Hallelujah. The only time division is relevant is when God is moving something out of your way. Thank you, Jesus. It says in the word of God that we have to submit ourselves to our husbands and 
submit ourselves to our wives. How are you going to come in here and tell the church folk that your life is on track, but yet you and your wife or your husband have separated and you are saying, I have a problem, God. No, you don't. He just moved some stuff out of your way. He just got you ready so you can get that personal relationship so you can understand the kind of man that God has called you to be. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Say, got nothing to do with me. They took my message a long time ago. <laughs> my message was out the window last night. <laughs> Elder Rogers was confirmation. Oh, yeah. Don't preach that. Okay, God, what do you got for me? I had to sit there for a while. And I had to say to myself, God, I don't know what I'm going to do now. I do know that it's necessary for us to come together. I do understand that I have to have faith. Yes. Why did you give me pure faith anyway? He said, because that's what I expect you to live on. Yeah, come on now. You've got to have pure faith. You've got to be willing to walk that thing. You've got to be willing to talk that thing. You've got to be willing to move some stuff out of the way. See, we talk about our children. We talk about our children. And what they are and what they are not doing. And then we'll say in the same sense, I am not a role model. You're on your way to hell. Did he say hell? You're on your way to hell. How are you going to not be a role model with children? How are you going to not be a role model with children? Yes, Someone is always watching. Someone is always paying attention. That means if you are walking right, somebody's watching you. If you're talking right, somebody's listening. So you cannot come up in the house of God and say, I am not a role model. Because if you do, Yes, sir. There's a one-way ticket waiting yeah. on you. Now, see, one of the things I listen to my pastor, we always talk about it, and we never, ever, ever want to accept the fact that in order to truly receive Christ, we got to be willing to accept the truth. That's it. That's true. That's right. yeah, is the truth. We have to be willing to accept Amen. the truth Amen. before we can distribute the truth. The truth. Mm. See, a lot of us have a problem receiving the truth. Yes, 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 yes. Uh -huh. But we want to be professionals at Come giving it. Come on now. Uh -huh. Talk to us now. Now, we've listened to about the five-fold ministry since last night. Now, we, 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 we are one body. I love that analogy. Five. Mm -hmm. Five-fold ministry. We are one body. So when you bring us together... <laughs> My little fist is a lot powerful than my slap. Mm -hmm. Woo! All right. May not be much behind it, but let God get a hold of it. Uh -huh. Let God put some lightning behind yes. it. Yeah. It's powerful then. Yeah. It might look yeah. small. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, all of us standing up here holding on to each other last night. And I think the highest one was about four feet seven. <laughs> we all, we small, but we packed a lot of power. I'm sorry. I ain't gonna listen. Okay. There's strength in numbers. There's power in numbers. There's a reason that that fivefold ministry has been put together. And that's because we can come together. We can't do nothing by ourselves. We might as well leave that analogy alone. It's not going to happen. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you've been through. I don't care what you're going through. Yeah. You think you're going to get overcome it alone? You're sadly mistaken. Because yeah. nevertheless, it says where I, where two or more are gathered there, I'm in the midst. So if you want to get past that thing, you better call on somebody. And I recommend Jesus. I recommend Hallelujah. Jesus. Yes, thank you. Because when I'm down 
down on my luck, I ain't got nobody else to turn to. See, when I'm needing with you, the landlord knocking at the door. Hey, brother, I need to borrow about $1,000. Okay, can I get back to you? Call me. Or you can go over here and say, I'm getting ready to get thrown out of my house. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. You can go through that analogy if you want to, but when it's time, you better call on Jesus. Now, as I prepare to close, I got to ask you all this question. What kind of man has God called you to be? Are you ready to accept the calling? Are you ready to accept the truth? Are you ready to walk in a Christ-like way? Are you ready to get down on bended knees and start fasting and praying? Are you ready to receive? Because when you say in his word, if, when he says, if, my people who are called by my name would seek my face, turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven? I will forgive their sins, and I will heal their land. So if you need to find out what kind of man God has called you to be, you need to, first of all, understand the word seek. Understand that you got to seek his faith. It don't matter what the pastors or the bishop or the apostles got to say. I'm going to seek his faith anyway. You can't help me. You can't save me. Only Jesus can save me. So if you got a problem with me, you take it up with my father. Take it up with my father. Beautiful. I found out that many times you don't have to worry about hooping and hollering. Many times you don't have to worry about what other pastors and preachers and teachers are doing. You don't have to worry about whether or not you're doing what they approve of. All you got to do is worry about whether or not what God has given you, he has given you the information and the, the information to share with his people to perfect. It says in the word of God, yeah, we got all this five-fold ministry stuff, but you have to be willing to perfect the saints for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. That's right. Amen. Amen. So you need to focus on the type of man that God has called you to be. That's it. That's all. I don't have to say another word. Let's stand to your feet. Give God some praise. Let's stand to your feet. Has he done anything for you? If he's done anything for you, then prove it to him, not me. I say let's give God some praise. This ain't got nothing to do with me. Give God some praise. Praise him, praise him, praise him. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Yes, God. Thank you. To be. Oh, yes, God. Yes, Hallelujah. Yes, Hallelujah. Thank you. Glory to God. Yes, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. For our prayers. A good friend, evangelist, Willie Brooks. attended the Zion Police Department press conference this morning. And he was sad to report that the little baby has passed on. We not only pray for the baby and the family, but we also want to pray for the father who killed the little baby. Everyone wants to know why on Saturday mornings at 7 o'clock I'm on the corner of 21st Street in Galilee. I need all the church members out there with me next Saturday. Folks, we got to take the church out of here and take it to the people. We've we, we got to bring the, the, the reason why the Father 
was able to kill the baby because he didn't know that he was loved. He didn't know how to show love because no one took him in and said, we love you. We can say that, that we pray and, and we come up here and, 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 and we do the things that we do within these four walls, but if, if we don't get out, we're just going to continue to lose our babies. Yes. yes. Now, now everyone, we, we see that we lost the baby, but we don't understand the tragedy within all of that. We lost the mother. We lost the father. We lost the grandmother. We lost the grandfather because now all of them are questioning the love of God. Yes, sir. If my people. If my people who are called by my name I'm going to bring Pastor Bolton up. You may be seated. We're going to take up a quick offering. Father, it's an honor to be in the house of the Lord. On this given day at this given time in our life, we know there's a shipping in the spirit and God's people are coming forward. We pray over this conference right now to bring the men, mm. the male species, mm. forward in these days. My God, my God. It's not an accident I'm here. It's been in my spirit 15 years. Yes, God. Bringing men together. Yes, yes. The male. Yes, the head of the house. Yes. As he hear from God, his house be saved. Mm. The atmosphere in his home will change when he know who he are and whom he are. We have witnessed in Zion two murders in the last few months. Men. I pray in the name of Jesus over this conference. I pray over the name of Jesus over this man of God who have a, a mandate from God to change the atmosphere in this city. I pray over the, this ministry in the name of Jesus. I come against isms and schism. I pray against small beginnings. I pray that the voice of God come out of this ministry and out of this man of God for such a time as now. I break the barriers right now that have been barred barriers in this city and in this ministry. I pray that the voice are going the highways and the byways and every street that God called him for in this region. I pray that the right people God will call by their name, by their name, that would latch on and be a part of what God is doing in this ministry, oh, in this season. Eight true. is new beginning. And I pray that as God proclaim the eight in this ministry, that we'll go forth through the bringing men and gathering men that don't know who they are in this season. Oh, I pray true. for a waking up spirit of the man on drugs, on fire. The men that have been found right now in their spirit. I pray for the men in jail right now. A men that don't know who their father is, who their heavenly father and their purpose on earth. I pray that the God move in this spirit. All principalities that have been holding us into religious and religious bondage. And I pray that the word is the word of this ministry and of this men gathering, God is to gather the right men. I pray that men that in the house sleep. Right now, and hear his voice out of this ministry yes, and wake them up. Can these dry bones live? Mm -hmm. Yes, they can. Can these dry bones live? Or like young men abound by sin and, and, and rock music and everything. Can these dry bones live? Yes, yes they can. Yes. Can our young boys become men? Yes, yes they can. Yes. God, we pray over this atmosphere that we have been set in this region right now. And we go forth out of these doors, God, knowing that God has called us for such a time as now. Yes, Thank you for the man of God that released that word. Do you know who you are? Yes. And do you know what you call to be? Yes. So I thank you for this season that we are moving in, in God's time. Yes. And that God would do what he called us to do. In Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. 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 Amen.